Hello everyone, it's in this, I'm going to be repeat this video I'm going to be repealing the, the final point standings for season 2. So, okay, we're going to start off here. So, in the east, in the, in the east, the, and the points, the point standings in the east, in 8th place, is, uh, Chris Bergeron and Brutus. Wait, hang on. There. Chris Bergeron and Brutus. And then in seventh, we have... Uh... Randy Moore and War Wizard. And then... Uh, with, uh... 74 points. So, yeah. Brutus has 66 points. War Wizard has 74 points. Okay, now the next one coming up is... Scott Hartsock and Gunslinger. With a total of 84 points, so he has more, he got more points than he did last time, uh, than he did last season with, in the West, which was, yeah, in the West last season he got 72 points, but this season he got 84. So in fifth, we have now Dennis Anderson and Gravedigger. Now he was the points leader coming into the world finals. With a total of 90 points. Captain's Curse was runner up with 84 points, and then Grinder had 80 points, and so on. But his, but he only got a score of a 5 in World Finals, say in the World Finals, which is why, yeah, it, it only added 5 points to his, to his uh, total points. But, but everyone else, all the other full time drivers got like, they had good runs. So basically, he went from first to fifth, and that's a shame because it looked like he'd do better the season, but no, because in season one, uh, last season, he got a total of 52 points, and then at the end of it, he was, at the end of it, he was, he was, uh, looks like, he was six. Look like he'd do better, but he only did better a bit, but, oh, by a lot. Very, he improved a lot. So, okay, so fifth in points is, I can't tell, oh, yeah. Fifth in points, is that fourth in points is Lindsey Wink and Blue Thunder with a total of 102 points. That, I know for sure, is better than last season. Because I remember uh, Medusa was the only driver to actually hey, Medusa was the only driver in the East in the East series to uh, get more than a hundred points, and uh, Lindsey Wink got ninety three points in the final standings last season. Now he has uh, one hundred and two. Third in points once again, uh, finishing third in the point final point standings once again for the second season in a row. Is John C. Sock and Grinder now? Well, last season he got a total of 91 points, which had got him third in the final standings. This time he's third in the final standings again, but this time he has 105. Unfortunately, Medusa is not say has not gotten the championship, but she's runner up. That's good enough with 106 points. Last season she got uh, 104, so she's two points better this time. But it, but it wasn't enough to get the championship. In fact, not even not even close as our cha East Series champion is get Alex Blackwell and Captain's Curse. So he and Alex Blackwell. This is only Alex Blackwell's first season, a very first season. Like I mean, he didn't even he didn't even go. He didn't even go part time last season. He there was like not a trace of Alex Blackwell in e, either East or West in season one. But he showed he he I think he was in the on I think he was in the encore for the for the first season. I'll have to check that later. He like had an amazing performance in Orlando. Didn't do too well. In New Orleans, but then did great in. But then he was. But then he was third. 
he placed third in Minneapolis. And then, so basically, added up to 84 points. Six points behind Dennis Anderson and Gravedigger. And then, and then he got, and then he got us, but then, Alex Blackwell got a score for 39 in the world, in this world finals. Dennis Anderson got five, so, like, yep, he just skyrocketed to the lead, in fact. Yep, he is about 17 points. He beat Medusa in point standings by 17 points. And that's amazing. So there you go. That is the final point standings for the East for season two. But for the what? Now we're gonna say think as we're say the ones for the West. Now eighth place in the West is Jeff McGritton in the Fallon. As uh, the World Finals was basically uh, his very last freestyle driving the felon. Because he had his new truck on Motor 5.9. And he's about to, he's going to reveal it in the Encore, actually. So, yep. he. So now there's... Yeah, he, he got a total... Yeah, so last season, he got a total of... So he finished sixth in the final standings. Last season was total uh, eight with uh, total his total points was eighty with an eighty. But this but this season he's eighth place with fifty one points because he got a score of forty again somehow in San Diego, which was enough to might enough for him to win the event there. And then he got. Yeah, but then he got a score of an 11 in the uh, World Finals Freestyle this season. Okay, yeah, so now in 7th is Jimmy Creighton. In, yeah, Jimmy Creighton in the Bounty Hunter in 7th with 62 points. Not bad for, it's not, that's not, really not bad for Jimmy Creighton. I mean, he, he was, he didn't, I mean, he, he was on, he actually planned on going part-time for this season. Didn't and it didn't go well for him in San Diego, and then he just went to, and then he just went to Oakland and won that event, which was enough for him to make the World Finals. But then he got a score of an 11 again in the World Finals. So he did better than the felon, but come on, Jeff McGrin, like he's gonna shine. Finishing sixth in the standings for the West Series is Mohawk Warrior with 74 points. So for sure he did worse than last season because last season he was third. He was in the run for the championship, and now, but this but this season something happened. I'm not sure. Actually, I'm not even sure what. Like, yeah, he just really messed up big time. That's a shame. That's really really a shame. Yeah, so that's really sh real shame. But George Bellheim and Mohawk Warrior wasn't the only driver to struggle this season more than they did last season. And El Toro Loco, Mark McDonald and El Toro Loco are, se are season one E Series champion, uh, e -ser our West Series champion of season one is in fifth in this. Final standings with 85 points. That is just terrible. He did not have a great season. I mean, he just did not. He in Houston he got a score for 17, but in, in San Diego he got a score for 37. But then in the but then in Oakland he got a 15, and then in the World Finals he got a 16. So it, that was a terrible run by him. But you know, everyone every. Every driver has some kind of bad luck at some point. I mean, like, El Toro Loco, Mark McDonald and El Toro Loco still has the record for the most uh, final points, for the final, the most points at the end of the season with, with 145 points. Uh, uh, Jim Kohler and Avenger has the most points at this season out of every other driver but it's 139 so six points short of mark mcdonald's record 
Oh yeah. Oh jeez, I just spoiled it for you. Yeah. Oh never mind. Let's just keep going through the list. Seems like Alan Pizzo got struck with luck as he as he is fourth in points. So basically he's at an eighty-eight. So yeah, Alan Pizzo and Predator has just broken the record for the most points in a single season by a part-time driver. Sorry, the highest score, the highest, uh, just broke a record for like the highest scoring part-time driver in a season. He just broke that record. The record that was, it was a record that Jeff, Jeff McGrin and the Fallon had with an 80. But now, Predator just, he just walked over the, all over the rec that record. Fourth in points. Fourth. That he had a very good season. In fact, yeah, very good. He won the he was the first one to free go freestyle in Houston with a gain of score of thirty five. And broke he actually broke the tie between him and Damon Bradshaw. Then uh but then he his second event of season two was in Oakland, score of an eighteen not too bad. He was already locked into the World Finals. Then he got 35 in the World Finals. Amazing. Okay, next up is Tom Mentz in Maximum Destruction. Now, oh my, so last season, last season he actually got 95, a uh, total of 95 points, finishing third, I uh, say finishing uh, at the end of season one. Of the, of the season one of the West Series, and was fourth, finished fourth in the final standings of season in season one. But, uh, yeah, with 95 points. But this time, he's third in the points with 106 points. So, yeah, not bad, especially since he was able to win the World Finals. Damon Bradshaw. Is once again runner up. And last season, uh, David Bradshaw was runner up in the championship with 125 points. But this season, he's 100, he has 112 points. Uh, so basically, yeah, this season wasn't really better for him, but he's once again runner up. And we have, and our season two West Series champion is. Jim Kohler and Avenger. So, the two champions are so for the East. The East champ, ah, you know, I, East champion is Alex Blackwell and Captain's Curse, and then West Series champion is Jim Kohler and Avenger. Now, thing is, Jim Kohler and Avenger. I did not expect, like when I added up all the points before the World Finals. I he was the points leader actually. I did not expect that, but then. Yeah, so it turns out, yeah, he got a score of a 32 in Houston, but then he got a 36 in San Diego, but then in Oakland, he got a 33. So basically, for the entire West Series, his points have been in 30s, and he got a score of 38 in World Finals. So basically, yeah, he was, it, Jim Cole and Adventure was silently being consistent, uh, being is silently being very consistent in in the West series. While everyone's just been scattering all over. So yep, the encore is coming up as the two champions will be doing the encore while uh, the world finals there's actually another there's actually gonna be a surprise in that encore. You will see it soon enough. That's all I'm gonna say for now. As I'll see you later.